Hey friends, welcome to part 156, uh, sorry 157. 156 is in the members area. Apart from 156, there are so many other videos in the members area. Go for Cloud Kernel or Cloud Ninja membership and gain access to those videos. Let's look at this free video. If you have not yet subscribed, do so and become a member as well to gain access to all of this informative content which will not help you pass. It will not help you pass the certification. What it will help you is get close to full marks. This channel is not about just passing. It will clarify or it will clear your concepts such that you can prepare for the intermediate certification as well. So very informative. A lot of people have uh, taken advantage and they have put their comments as testimonies in the videos available on this playlist. Now let us look at this question. You have a company which is and you have workloads which are running on AWS cloud. You already running on suppose Barclays. Barclays, they are already on AWS cloud suppose. Now uh, the level of traffic every week on this application is varying. They want to company says that boss I want a reliable application. Reliable means <clears throat> if you have someone like I had a colleague called Venkat Subramanian. Even if it, he is ill, he has fever. He will take Tylenol or Crocin and come back to office. He's highly reliable. He will not go down so easily. It's like, you know, if you are in a marriage, you have a wife who's grumbling or keeps on complaining and etc. You still stick around. You don't ask for a divorce. That is called you are reliable. You are more reliable here. Okay. Because you can take that shit for a longer period of time. Why it is why I'm saying because if you are ill, if you're sick and you're taking Tylenol and still coming to work, that means your capacity to take shit is very high. <clears throat> so which combination of steps will help you with this one? So first is testing your uh, recovery procedures. For example, countries like Nepal, the earthquakes are common. They should create a disaster system and they should test their recovery procedures. What if an earthquake comes? What will happen? How will you save the lives? Where will people run? Where will they take cover so that they are shielded from earthquake? That is called reliability. So that even if the earthquake comes, you should have minimum damage to your human assets. Your human being should not die. That is first. so you have to test your recovery procedures. The second say is purchase instances weekly. So this is the most silly option that, that I saw. See, it's it is not like imagine a stock market. Just because the market went up last week, it will go up this week. This is a very wrong assumption. This may not be true many times. So what you have to do is <clears throat> in this case, they are saying that just because last week there were 100 concurrent users, this week also we will have 100. Let's add two more EC2 instances just to handle 100. No boss, last week they were 100, this week there might be 10 or this week they might be 10,000 just because your application became very popular or there has been a disaster and a lot of people are trying to access your application to make some entries. So you will have to handle that. So that is a wrong way of assuming things. C says handle the software failures automatically. Now two options I would try, uh, want you to compare. First is anything which is automatic, which is good. Anything which is manual, this is bad. You see this manually, which is bad. Make all changes in the environment manually. For example, you saw Hamas entering Israel and nobody countered them and stopped. The soldiers were not there. So if they had an automated solution, that would have been a lot more better to reduce the casualties. So automatic is always better. Now when you say handle software failures, how do, would they handle if there is a software failure or if a user is trying to enter an EC2 instance and they are not able to access the application, what will happen? That means they can analyze it and do auto scaling. There is some an example. There is a feature in EC2 instance where you can auto scale and add more EC2 instances to handle these scenarios. That way you are adding more reliability in the application. Option D says that you scale the application vertically. Why are you just saying vertically? Boss, why are you just saying vertically? It can be horizontally also. You see big data systems, they grow horizontally. They keep adding more, more clusters. So you should, any option which specifically says vertically. See, vertically, there is a limit. If you are building skyscrapers, in today's world, how up you can go? 150 floors or 200 floors max. That is your human capacity. So there is a limit. Okay, but if you do horizontal scaling, the there is not much of a limit there and you gain better performance. So these two would be our final answers. Now this is the next question. You have a company which is running a critical workload on RDS database. Since. So RDS is a database. RDS is a relational database. You can have MySQL, Postgres and so on. And the company needs the database instance to be highly available. That means it should not go down. This guy should be like Venkat Subramaniam. Even if he's having fever, 
he should still come to office and work okay and so they want highly available within a recovery time of less than 5 minutes that means if this guy enter subramaniam has fever he can have fever only for 5 minutes he should immediately take uh, paracetamol and come to office within 5 minutes so highly available with a recovery time of 5 minutes in real system what it means recovery 5 5 minutes means if your application goes down within 5 minutes it should be coming up which solution will meet this requirements first is you create a read replica of the db instance database instance that means you have this and you are creating a clone you know saddam hussein he had a clone he had multiple clones so what this guy is saying is i will create a read replica see read replica why to use read replica read replica we use when there is a reporting application or a sql querying application so that you can isolate read loads with the write loads you can have the write loads in this one and read loads in the read replica here there is no reporting requirement that's why this option is wrong b says i will create a template of db instance using cloud formation see cloud formation this is a infrastructure as a code so that the question is not talking about hey i am having trouble with creating consistent infrastructure that's why i want to use infrastructure as a code infrastructure as a code means you write a code once and it will create uh, rds instances multiple times with the same exactly same configuration there will be no manual error but this problem statement is not linked with this cloud formation and infrastructure as a code so this is a misfit now option 3 or option c it says take frequent snapshots of the database instance and store the snapshots in s3 see again this is uh, something which you know will not <coughs> serve the purpose in this case see, you will take frequent snapshots and then recovery and store and lot of steps this will not meet the requirement see why you take frequent snapshots because uh, you you may want to go back to the original state of the application in this case if you want to maintain it easily see whenever i'll tell you one keyword whenever you see critical workload critical workload see if you have critical workload okay then will you will you be only relying on one person to deliver in your project suppose you are infosys project manager <coughs> you have a critical workload and people told you tomorrow you have to deliver it will you just rely on one team member if you do that you are a very bad project manager you should always have a uh, uh, plan built in plan b or not a plan b in fact do not do not create bottlenecks on human resources always have that skill with some other people also so that this guy falls ill or this guy starts showing attitude that i am a great guy and you are highly reliable do not create uh, this kind of impression with your employees okay always always have multiple people so that you know you are not relying on one resource now in this case you would be uh, a critical workload that means you would not want to rely on one resource that's why you would not have to rely on one az you will do a multi az deployment and that will solve your problem so option d is our answer because multi az means you will have multiple availability zone if you if one az goes down this guy is still available and you can still keep running a critical workload and this will be highly available so i have uploaded part 156 in the members area you can access it a company has identified a high risk network security issue okay there is a very big network security issue and the company needs a managed solution managed solution means automatically using aws services it should get managed we should not intervene and do anything manually that is managed services okay so you want to deploy these essential network protections which aws service you would use See network security issue. If you have the first thing you have to do is, was to use a network firewall. Everybody uses it. Use a network firewall first. Okay. Network ACL security groups are very different. Security groups is like I have an ACL instance. I just want to allow these four or five IPs to access it. I will put a allow request and a deny request there. Same with the network ACLs also. And a VPC network access analyzer. So this will help you identify. unintended network access so some wrong people are trying to access this network it will analyze and tell you so this may not be totally correct in our context but network firewall it will help you deploy the firewall security across your vpcs it will automatically scale your network firewall to protect your managed infrastructure it is a managed service and it will protect your unique workloads with flexible firewall engine it will centrally manage the security policies 
across your accounts and VPCs. So how does it work? You have the network security firewall here. You have all this traffic coming in. You see this, you, click, you can create a policy, you can block and filter certain things, certain IPs. You can keep monitoring as well. So network firewall would be our answer. So by the way, part 56, 156 I have uploaded. There are so many uh, videos in the members area also access it. Please click the subscribe button and stay tuned to you know, onboard the journey to clear certifications on cloud. This brings us to the end of part 157. We will post many more such parts.